Hey Maker, baby is sleeping, my older ones are being detained with the show, and I'm sneaking out here so I can talk to you guys really quickly about cutting paper on your laser. I just finished making these beautiful paper flowers, and I am determined to figure out how to cut through several sheets of paper um, at the same time, because I love making paper flowers, they're so pretty, and I just like cutting paper in general. I haven't had a thousand percent success yet, but I'm still testing it, and I thought I'd, I'd you know, talk to you guys about what I did. So this is what I've learned so far. You can cut through 65 pound cardstock. Okay, you can cut through three sheets of this on a Mira 7 60 watt laser at 65 speed, 60 power. Three sheets at the same time. That's like record speed, okay? And, but, here's the caveat, okay? And you always wanna use, when you're cutting your paper, you wanna use like a scratch paper underneath because this is going to um, help so that you don't have a lot of flashback on the underside of your page or your petal or whatever it is that you're cutting paper with. The caveat is it works really well with dark paper. It gets a little trickier with um, lighter colors because there's a lot, there can be soot and the soot on your lighter colors, you know, it rubs off and then it looks kind of dirty. So see, for example, Actually, I mean, I guess it really doesn't look that bad, but I'm picky. I want it to look totally crisp and clean. It should look like that, you see, but this leaf looks a little dirty. So, had I done this in a green color, it would have been perfect. And I did some testing on my Cricut. An intricate leaf like this took 14 minutes. That's to mount it, cut it, and then weed it off of the, off of the mat. On the laser, it took two minutes. Okay, so I'm determined to also find perfect settings for light colored paper. I think I'm gonna need more air, which could possibly mean adding a compressor, and that's just somewhere down the road. So that's why this is version one of cutting paper. Okay, so for 65 pound cardstock, you can cut through three sheets on a Mira 7 60 watt laser, 65 speed, 60 power. And on 110 card stock, now this is a little harder, 100 speed, 65 power, one page. So I think if I get more air, it'll be, I could cut through more sheets. I'm, it, this is just what I've been playing with and this is how what I've been successful with so far. So uh, here, I, I took this order, like I was like, oh, I'm gonna cut it with the laser and it's gonna be easy. And then I realized that I had more flashback than I wanted and my pages were getting a little dirty. Um, so I ended up making these flowers with my Cricut. I did do one entire flower with the laser paper and you can, you know, there really isn't that much flashback at all. There isn't any, it, it looks good. And actually the few parts where there is a little bit of burn, I don't know if you can really tell. It actually, I think, I feel like it gives the flower a little more dimension, like as if I had taken, um, Scrap, I know people do this with scrapbooking a lot. They take like um, chalk ink pads and then they'll rub it along the edges to give it a little bit of distressed look. So I actually think it looks fabulous. This was 100% this was cut with the laser. And um, the only reason I did most of it on the Cricut was because I had guests come in town and my laser room is also my guest room so I couldn't use my laser. And yeah, you know, whatever. That's, that's how things work when you're working out of your home. Okay, let's go make, let's go make some flowers. Okay, so here you see six petals cut out in 54 seconds. This is 110 cardstock um, on a 60 watt Mira 7 laser, 100 speed, 65 power, and um, a scratch paper underneath so that there's not a lot of flashback. That was awesome. So I thought I'd show you guys how I make a paper flower. I'm really not the person to teach you. I've only done them a couple of times, but I have learned from Forever Petals by V. She's on Instagram and she's on Facebook and she's awesome. She does Tutorial Tuesday and she, she, she teaches you how to make paper flowers for free. So go find her, I'll, I'll, I'll tag her in this um, tutorial. And if you wanna learn how to make paper flowers, by all means do so. My only trick is as you're doing it, you wanna make sure that the bottom of the flower stays in a square shape at least the first um the smaller set of petals and this will make sense if you go do her, her tutorial but anyhow you're you're more than welcome to message me and ask me any questions 
if you want to make some. And here are my beautiful paper flowers. I love them so much. I made them for my little girl a year ago and after I made them I would just nest in her nursery and stare at them for days. I, have died every day for I hope you learned something new with me. Please comment, share, and like and I'll see you here next time on That Mom with a Laser. 